I have no theatrical background whatsoever, but being introduced to some of the theories uh, of, of theatre and some of the theories that we've been introduced to on the module about um, immersive theatre and, and, and contemporary theatre are very, very eye-opening to me. I mean, in terms of what I'm going to do going forward in my musical performances, it's really opened up my eyes to creating creating experiences for the audience rather than just jumping on a microphone, grabbing a mic and rapping to an audience. Rather than just entertaining, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how the audience perceives the entertainment. And George's program has taught us how to build a project from the ground up. Uh, basically proposing the project, writing the methodology for the project, uh, sourcing all your props, all your set, all your costumes, sourcing your performers, writing the script, um, dealing with problems as they occur, rolling with the punches, making lemonade out of the lemons, <laughs> world building from the ground up, um, making your own art, being your own advocate, learning all the skills to make a piece from nothing into something. Um, but I was always very end on in my tradition, traditional theatre aspect of it. So this, this element of playing with the audience and having fun with them, challenging the audience perception of what theatre is and inviting the audience to my place and let me take their place is a fun parameter to play with. So it's so much fun, it's so intense. Um, I don't think there's enough time to do everything. Um, so I would say if you're coming into this module, come with an open mind, come ready to play, come ready to get sweaty and dirty and roll on the floor and look stupid and have fun in doing that. I think I've, I've seen an, another side of the artistic um, side there, there are many in, in the world. It kind of teaches me how to uh, tell a story in a different form. I'm very much tell, used to telling stories in traditional theatre, but I think it was very useful to experiment with telling a story and directing it. It gives you different school, skills, which I'm going to bring into my own traditional theatre. So I think being director is probably worth it. What I've actually learned from this is allowing ideas and the process to come to you. There's a methodology of testing that your work um, through the stuff that we learn in class, like the, the gaming classes. It will change the way you see theatre. It will definitely make you a better artist. Um, going forward, for me, I want to be an actor, but I've learned so much from this module that I'm, I'm going to take with me. If you want to create your own stuff, you learn a new process of how to make your own stuff in a way that's not the conventional way but in a process that is natural and artistic and, and it's just been, yeah, I would highly recommend this course, it's been so great, it's been such a journey as well. So as a matter, uh, I'm much more interested in immersive theatre now than I was before. Broad your horizons really just, it's, it, it has made me see things differently. Definitely. It was really interesting to go and think about the audience and another way to involve the audience in the, in the performance and the piece. Very fast paced, very intense, uh, tons of work to do. Uh, yeah, I mean in my BA degree I had learned theoretically about immersive theatre, participatory theatre, interactive theatre, but I hadn't actually created it um, and it was cool to kind of learn the challenges and kind of process that it takes to create a piece of work to that level where you involve the audience. So yeah, it's been really eye-opening and interesting. It's definitely ensemble work and collaborative work, uh, so it breaks away from the kind of traditional director-actor vibe. I'm coming from a, a more conventional environment, theatre environment, which is, you know, the fourth wall. We play on stage, um, spectators in auditorium, here, basically, what I gained from that module is that I have been exposed in a good way to the other side of the coin, that we can do theatre that way as well. And the spectator and the audience, they can witness uh, and experience a performance from another perspective, not only by paying, as a paying public, they are going to see an auditorium, watch actors on stage, but participate in that proactively or actively uh, through a role play. So they are co-creators of the projects. I'm not creating that and come here and present it to them. They are here when that's creating and consumed at the same time. 
Jorge Ramos and Jaji Maravala. I mean, they're very generous in, in really supporting. They're top on what they're doing. I mean, you trust them 100% because you know from the very first moment, they know what the fuck they're talking about. And they can support you all the way. They can nurture you to expand. All of the reading that we were doing and just all of the discussions we've had about these different kinds of more like contemporary performance practices and getting more of a sense of that has reframed how I think about my work and how I can make it. And I've been able to come at it from more of a conceptual theoretical framework, which is really helpful because that way I understand what I'm doing. So when I go ahead and do it, I have a clear idea of what that effect is going to be on people. Um, George and Jaji have led us through a bunch of different exercises that they use with their work, um, different game creation exercises, and a lot of that I've taken and used in my piece in terms of structuring it and how I figure out how to make it work, sort of creating the rules of this structure is really something big that I learned from them. And so I don't think I would have been able to do this kind of performance if I hadn't had that class experience with the two of them. I would definitely recommend this program to other students. I think that what I've learned in this program and how much I've seen myself grow as an artist is incredible in the last three months. Just all of the information that I now have and all the different artists that I have that are inspiring me that I've been learning about in terms of other performance artists and, and being able to sort of pick and choose and steal things that people are using and find ways to incorporate that into my work. It's very focused on our specific interests and the work that we want to create. So it's looking at this idea of contemporary performance and using that to create the work that we want to go out into the world and make. It's not pigeonholing us or forcing us to make some kind of project. The module. The module. Uh, the module. Hmm. Yes, of course it was helpful because uh, of the beautiful workshop we had and, uh, and different methodologies we've, we've learned together.